4213. South Kenny Street. I'm Melinda Anderson, uh, the wife of Chad Anderson, who was a devoted Hillman City resident for the two years he lived here. <laughs> so in our front yard here, we had to make some adjustments, a path for Chad, Chad's little mound of plants. I have a collection of lichen and moss. He was obsessed with it. I collected that on a walk recently. So we'll walk on over to the park. So we're walking towards the park. Chad would zip down this way a lot just because he liked to hang out in the park or was going to Aki Kurosi to uh, tutor or do some volunteer work there. Uh, so we moved into Hillman City just over two years ago and uh, we moved here because it's a diverse community and our diverse family felt like this was a place where we could fit in. Just really being a good neighbor and investing with other people, getting to know other people. And relationships were really important to Chad, probably more so than getting things done. And Chad's all about relationship and, and knowing the person. As a person with a disability, he obviously was interested in advocating for safety on the streets and accessibility. And I think that might have been maybe the starting point for him of this neighborhood is not very accessible. There is no curb cut right now. So the lack of cut curbs really cuts down on the romance. So trying to go for a walk and hold hands that doesn't work very well if he wants me to stay on the sidewalk so I'm safe and he's zipping around trying to find a, a driveway or something that he can come and go from. He doesn't didn't drive, so he took the bus everywhere. So he got to know people on the bus. I still am getting comments from people who are like, oh, I, I used to ride the number seven with Chad every day or the number eight. You know, once a week and um, I just you know I just heard I'm sorry and because he was visible um, there weren't too many people his age zooming around in electric scooters you know in the different languages that are spoken and the different countries they represent or even within our own home the different languages that are spoken wanting the business district to represent that and to be places that serve the community the people who actually live here the challenge that it was to get somewhere. So he knew his way through, <laughs> throughout the neighborhood of where he needed to go. It was this mental map that he kept on how to get to the bus stop and how to get different places that were accessible to him. Um, so sometimes I didn't know why he was frustrated, <laughs> but, but he didn't let that stop him. He was very much uh, willing to go and try things and um, wanted to be where other people were. So that was important to him. So I don't know that he actually knew the curb cut was going to happen. He was very active in communicating with the city and rallying anyone who could log a ticket online to <laughs> advocate for cut curbs. Couldn't tell you how many I've put in. He, and he loves kids and uh, you know kids found him very approachable in some ways because he was a little closer to their level and because he had really cool wheels. So you know, he'd give free rides. We were talking about, uh, Chad actually mentioned that uh, just visiting the businesses that are here, and not not just the new businesses, but going to the businesses that have been here for a long time, and uh, making, instead of running to QFC, you know, stopping in at our local grocery store. Just making a point of um, spending our money here. It'd be great if we could do neighborhood dinners. We used to do that in our old neighborhood. It was kind of a guest who's coming to dinner sort of thing, and six people would meet at a house, something like that. Chad loved to eat, slow eater, but he loved to eat. So eating with friends was like the best. And just taking time to talk to people. Like if you see the same people walking by your house every day, like talk to them and get to know their name and maybe even the name of their furry friend. This time here was short. We bought this house so it could be accessible for Chad and put a ramp in on the side thinking we'd be here for a while. So sad that it's cut, cut too short. But hopefully, hopefully I can find the time and the energy to continue engaging and live out that, that legacy that Chad started.